Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about how to replicate um, calculation for p-value for z-test and t-test. As you all know that um, Tableau is a visualization tool, so um, uh, it's not really for a statistical analysis. Well, but there's still uh, some way to um, replicate the calculation. So if you're going to do hypothesis testing, you probably need to uh, let's say calculate z value or t statistic, and then to calculate p value, to um, to check uh, whether you want to reject or uh, or not to reject your null hypothesis. So um, uh, if you if you are using Tableau with uh, or using external resource, set, uh, let's say R or Python, then you can uh, easily solve this problem. However, if uh, in some situation you are not um, you are not allowed to use uh, external resource, then you can use um, some other uh, mathematical method to replicate uh, t or um, to calculate the uh, statistical uh, testing and also to uh, replicate the p uh, to calculate the p value. So uh, in here, I am showing that. Uh, it is uh, able to calculate uh, p-value using Tableau. So now let's take a look. So here I, I already create some calculation and then the p-value here. So let's say I'm testing for um, z-score equal, equal to let's say 1.42 uh, under uh, standard normal uh, standard normal distribution. So for a z-value of uh, 1.42 in a standard with a mean zero standard deviation equal to 1 I get a p-value, which um, uh, which is uh, actually the um, the CDF of the of the normal uh, standard normal distribution. So the area under uh, negative infinity up to one point four two, uh, the cumulative density distribution then uh, function or whatever, the area the 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 area of the, under the curve should be uh, nine, uh, 0 0.92. So uh, this is a, a this is a approximation uh, under the uh, approximation for the area under this, uh, under the CDF. So now let's take a look in R to check. Uh, so for now I have a z score uh, one point four two. So uh, let's say I'm using some I'm using uh, R to validate this uh, my uh, calculation. So for p norm one point four two under um, standard normal. So we can see that um, the density fun um, the, the area or the 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 fun um, the in integral is uh, zero point nine two two one. So let's up to let's uh, up to um, let's check up to four decimal points. So it's uh, nine two two one. So we can see that our uh, my uh, my approximation is actually very close um, to the to the to the actual number. To the integral. Um, so in statistics, there are lots of ways that you can uh, approximate integral, such as Monte Carlo method, uh, Monte Carlo integration, or um, there are other ways to approximate integral. Although that the CDF for a normal distribution can be very hard to calculate, there are also some other ways um, to, to 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 approximate p value. But the method I'm using here is to uh, uh, to first approximate the the error function under for the for the integral. So um, there are also some other method, but so far this is one of the this is the the, the most accurate method that I know of to uh, to that uh, to replicate in Tableau. So um, there are also other ways that is not. Uh, not um, approximate the integral, but just approximate the p-value. So uh, I would recommend that you can uh, research uh, to to read um, to research on some paper uh, to to fully understand uh, which is uh, or to 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 get the most um, I would say convenient method for your analysis. If accuracy is if the accuracy of the P value is not your major concern, so there's there are lots of method to to um, to approximate this. It just uh, depends on your um, on uh, what's the decimal point that you want to uh, 
how precise you want your uh, approximation to be. So uh, so far, I so far if for uh, very high accuracy, I would recommend to approximate uh, the error function, but not just um, well, if you if you have uh, research on the paper, then you will know there are lots of difference in the accuracy um, uh, distinction. So, but what I'm trying to say is that you are still you are able to replicate a uh, p value for z test here in in Tableau for your statistic analysis. So now I also have a p value uh, calculation for t test. So uh, the t test I would say is even is even harder for uh, uh, to integral comparing to a normal nor, uh, a normal distribution. So now I'm just showing you like say for a sample size of a hundred, and now I want to calculate the p score for uh, let's say one point four two again. So you can see that the p value is uh, zero point one five. So uh, Make sure you understand what p value or and the area under integral means before uh, you, you replicate these uh, calculation in Tableau. So, um, so the uh, here I'm using a two tail. So uh, that's the integral from infinity to one point four two. So uh, the area so and then using one minus the area and then multiply by two so you will get a two tail t test so i can also replicate this uh, to validate this in r so i have a sample size of 100 and t test 1.42 so um the um the p value for t test in r is uh uh p T so it's one point two and then specify degree of freedom is actually a uh, sample size minus one. So let me uh okay. So I think I should use one minus this and to multiply by two to get the two tail t test. So as you can see that um the p value is one point uh, zero point one five eight seven. So uh, as you can see, see that my approximation is uh, the error is start from the fourth decimal point. So if you are doing some uh, hypothesis testing, let's say up to 0 0.05, so I would say you will have a pretty accurate, uh, a good, a good approximation for your uh, for for testing purpose. So uh, what I'm trying to make, uh, what the point I'm trying to make here is that you are able to uh, replicate p-value for both z and t test and the accuracy is pretty is actually pretty good if you are looking for let's say a two decimal point or three decimal point let's say 0 0.001 if that's your um if that's your threshold then i would say that i, I would say that um, these methods are pretty accurate for uh, and will generate good um, approximation of p-value for your testing so uh, let's uh, so, so f to sum up, uh, the, uh, there are also lots of people, uh, lots of method online to do to do this, and also make sure that uh, you understand uh, hypothesis testing and p value and uh, CDF and PDF or uh, integral before you replicate the calculation. Some of them are pretty uh, difficult, but um, they gen they will generate a, a good result. So um, this is how you can generate p value for a detailed uh, calculation, a calculated field to uh, how to write the calculation. Uh, please um, um, make sure you read the paper and to understand understand or to make sure you you know your precision precision for your accuracy and and then you can replicate. But uh, most of all, I'm trying to say that it is possible to replicate p-value for t uh, or z-test in Tableau. Um, thank you very much.